If you would bear with me, let's start out by opening up our project for this chapter, Editing 101. It's in your work folder for this chapter in the bike project. Go ahead and open that up. I want to talk about trimming clips, but trimming clips on the timeline. Now, the good news is you're really doing the same thing in expert or quick mode, so we'll just do it here. Go ahead and open up assets. Open up just one clip, like say our dirt bike full, and let's drag that guy down here. I'm going to put him into video one. Okay, I'm going to collapse this out so we can see our monitor area up here. Now we know that if I scrub the timeline, move the playhead, we can see the video up here. We want to see it a little bit bigger. We can get here, make it a little bit bigger. It's not bad. And we can move it, we can see it. We can press the space bar to play it in real time, or click the play button right here. We also know from previous lessons in this chapter that if we don't want all of it, we can change it up here. There are a couple of things that are, I would say, fundamental, but things change sometimes when you're working on the timeline. First off, if I come over here and decide I want this to be different in terms of how long it is, even though the playhead is right here, showing me right here what's going on here, I can come over here. Now you're looking for that double arrow. And of course, it will show me where I am right now with my arrow trimming. It's called trimming. When I let go, it's going to take it back to wherever that is. So we can trim it on either side very simply like that. Now you'll notice what happened though. When I moved it over, it jumped back over this way. In other words, it's trying to keep it originally where it was on the left. Now on the right, there is nothing else over here, so it doesn't matter. But if I move it this way, that's fine. But on the left, it'll try to jump it back over and put it on left exactly where it was. So, I don't know, that's pretty straightforward. And we know we can move it. Just click and drag on it. But things change when you start adding other clips. So let's go up to Project Assets here. And let's bring in Kids Bikes. Now let's put it on the same line, the same track, Video 1. Okay. Now, if I come here on this side and move it in or out, let me close this, you see it up here. If I go all the way to the right and move it in or out, you see where I am and I let go. Nothing different. But we've got two clips that kind of mix together right here. Now, watch my cursor. Let me highlight that for you. You'll see a small bracket, red, to the left of the two arrows or to the right. And obviously that means edit the clip on the left or the right. Now watch what happens up here when I go down here. And I watch for the bracket to be on the right and begin moving. Click and drag, of course. The clip on the right represents where I am. The clip on the left represents where it's going to hook back into the other clip because we're not moving that one. And when I let go, it pushes it over. Now, if I go here on the other side and watch for the bracket to go to the left, meaning work on the left clip, it changes on the left. And then when I let go, it's going to merge with the other one the way we see it on the right. Now, it changes again. And let me go ahead and do this so we can see this. If I put this clip on another track, now, it'll snap to get there. And it will look exactly the same. This is called a hard edit. This is going to go boom from one to the other. To be honest with you, there are so many times that you really just don't need some of these transitions. If you watch a lot of shows on television, even movies, they edit quickly. There's very few times where it's softly going between one clip and another. And this is one example. We're going from one to the other with a hard transition. If I come over here and grab this one and begin moving it, notice the difference. Now it's showing me where I am in my trim, but it's not showing me the other clip because it's on another track. It'll still work. It'll still move it over, and that's fine. But if it's on another track, you only see the one. Now this changes again. Let's go ahead and take it down here. And let me go ahead and pull this up. When you start adding other stuff, 
So let's come over here into our project assets and let's move in need for speed. And I'm going to put that on my soundtrack. In reality, you could put it on audio one, narration, or soundtrack. Doesn't really matter, but there are differences when we start getting into narration why you want it here. Let me do this. Let me trim this just like that. And I'm going to trim it all the way to the cut mark right here where they come together. And we'll put light jazz right here. And we'll move that. And again, I love the way it snaps. Snap right there. Okay, now you're going to get some audio, so hold your ears. Kind of like a transition between the two. Now we know what happens when we move one, right? Watch this. I'm going to go to Dirt Bike. I'm going to trim it to the left. Now it looks like you can see both, right? Watch what happens when I let go. There's a gap. Didn't happen before. The reason it didn't happen before is because we didn't have anything down here. Now let's do this. Let me press undo. That's command or control Z, my favorite key in the whole world. Let me take this one out of here. So I've got audio soundtrack, kids bikes up here. Do the same thing. Get on this one and move it. Now watch what happens, but watch both clips, Kids Bikes and Light Jazz. They both move. Premiere Elements is making an assumption. It's assuming that you have that soundtrack synced up to your video. So if you move one, it moves the other. The reason, and let me undo again, let me undo a couple of times. We have multiple undos. The reason it didn't move it this time is because this track was in the way. And it didn't want to push this one out because it wasn't sure what to do with it. It assumed these two were linked together in terms of syncing, and so it didn't move it. You say, but why? It's because that's the way the programmers put it together, not me. Now, I will admit, not every single thing that goes on inside of these programs is something that I go, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Sometimes I go, why did they do that? If I had done it, I would have done it this way. That's just the way it's set up. Now, there's ways to get around this. We'll talk more about that. But simple trimming and editing, it's actually very easy in this program. We're going to talk about cutting and overlaying and a lot of other things, too. But trimming a clip on the timeline, what you get depends a lot on what you have on the timeline with it. 